with the UK's best coaster being, debatably, either The Smiler, Icon, some may even say Rita, How? The question I ask today is will the brand new coaster at Thorpe Park, Project Exodus, potentially be the UK's number one coaster? So yeah, you've probably heard a lot about Project Exodus at Thorpe because there's already been about a million videos on it. But I say it every time, this kind of hype is justified, especially when there hasn't been a coaster for now 10 years. <laughs> Although many people have already stated their opinion, saying it's either too short, uh, a waste of potential space, etc. And, uh, you know, all this is being said before it's even been confirmed to be built. And I've realised I haven't fully given my opinion on Exodus in a video. So, uh, hello, here I am. But not only that, I'm going to discuss whether I think it could be the UK's number one. And to do that, it's probably best to go through this insane layout. So to start, you bank really coolly out the station and you ascend the 236 foot tall lift hill, which is a, apparently as tall as me. It's as tall as you. I, 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 I rather wish that I would never be 236 feet tall. Then the main drop is of course that huge beyond vertical twisted dive drop that's that's long which banks round and that will be beyond insane on the back row into a huge immelman which doesn't really seem to go upside down so i guess we'll have to wait and see if that sparks a whole does icon have two or one inversion debate down from there into this huge outer banked hill that curves round into an inversion and twists down which looks one of a kind and looks incredible. Coming down to the ground into a huge dive loop. Um, I may as well just say this now. This recreation was made by me. It's not the best by any means. And that dive loop will have a lot of hang time as it does take that quite slow. You dive down into a lovely splashdown to the right and up into this outer banked hill again, round into an airtime hill and into the break run. Now I can see what some people mean from first glance. It does look very short, but the thing is what it does do with that short layout is pack a punch completely. And some of those elements, you will be flying out your seat, not literally. It will genuinely be one of the best UK coasters, without a doubt. The, the monumental scale of some of those airtime hills and inversions beyond what we have in the UK. But of course, the main contenders for best UK coaster are the likes of the Smiler, Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Stealth and the Swarm at Thorpe, which I'm just gonna say it now, this is easily gonna be the best coaster at Thorpe. Let's not lie there. But yeah, obviously this does depend on your personal opinion. And personally, to me, I think it will be the best in the UK and probably one of the top ones in Europe, maybe top 20 in Europe. Because especially if this has lap bars and is made by Mac, it will be an incredible ride. And some of those inversions will be, again, one of a kind. If we hit 236 likes, do you get it? Because that's the height of Exodus. <laughs> I will make a part two, which will be mainly focused on your guys' opinions. So, uh, Feel free to leave them in the comments below.